So today's video uh, is very controversial and it's uh, mature in nature. So obviously, you know, if there are any children watching or if you're an adult and there's children in the room, this is obviously not a video they should be watching. Now, what we're going to go over, I actually thought a long time if I wanted to make this video, uh, and I didn't realize like how much controversy uh, is going on around this particular subject on sites like Reddit. I, I thought it was pretty cut and dry, but I guess not. And this video is not intended to be a witch hunt uh, over any creators who are promoting this stuff. I'm not trying to cancel anyone. I know some people think I do that in my videos. It's more to create a conversation because there doesn't seem to be anyone currently talking about this, aside from one channel, which we'll get into. There doesn't seem to be anyone currently talking about this on YouTube. And I feel like it's something that at the very least people should be talking about. Now, if you think it's completely fine, what we're gonna go over in this video, that's fine. And I actually have a poll below. Uh, I'd appreciate if you watch the whole video before you actually cast your vote in that poll, but you can decide whether you think, hey, this is appropriate, I have no problem with this, or this is not something uh, Twitch streamers and YouTube people should be promoting to their audience that has children watching. So specifically what we're talking about um, is a company, an adult entertainment company called Fansly. Now Fansly is a clone of another company called OnlyFans. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what OnlyFans is, but basically it's a website where creators can create adult content and then people could sign up and pay monthly fees to get access to that adult content. Now, Fansly is heavily promoted across Twitch. It's been promoted for a long time. It's actually promoted some of the biggest events that have happened on Twitch, including the uh, Streamer Awards, which happened last month. It's a big event. I think it has like 5 million views just on QT Cinderella's channel alone. She's the one that created it. I think it's the second year. And Fansly was the one of the promoters, one of the sponsors, of that event. Now, one thing I want to say is people people have said you're like, "Oh, you don't like sponsors." I have no problem with sponsors. Um, you know, sponsors are okay. I, I I don't have a problem with that. What I have with a problem with is specifically, you know, an adult entertainment website sponsoring an event that for sure has a bunch of children watching it, right? Now, in this event, they specifically talk about uh, the sponsor Fansly and they actually have links directly from Twitch to Fansly. Now, what gets even worse than this is that Fansly has some sort of error with their system where you can, and I'll show you on the screen if you don't believe me, you can create a Twitch account and you can tell Twitch that you are underage, you can tell Twitch that you are 13 years old, and then you can link directly to Fansly, and Fansly will allow you to log in with your underage Twitch account and instantly get access to adult content. Now, to me, that seems uh, incredibly inappropriate, but some people don't seem to have a problem with that. Now, not many people are talking about this on YouTube. However, on other sites like Reddit, a lot of people are currently having a conversation about this. And some people seem to think that it's okay. I don't, I don't agree with that. But one of the opinions I, I seem to hear a lot is that because minors, specifically, you know, teenage boys, are going to be seeking out this adult content anyway, it's not really an issue for streamers to get paid by adult content and promote that adult content to their audience that undoubtedly has a bunch of children watching. That's completely fine. Now, I disagree with that statement 100%. In my opinion, if a minor is seeking out that content, and they shouldn't be, but if they're seeking out their content on their own, that's vastly different than a streamer, someone these people look up to, uh, an adult, getting paid to promote that content to them. In my opinion, those are two very different things, and I think it's incredibly inappropriate uh, that that's happening. Now, one thing I wanna bring up uh, before we go into a deeper dive about Fansly and this whole issue uh, is the fact that some people are gonna be like, oh, you're just getting on your high horse, you're trying to take everybody down. And I wanna point out that just six months ago, uh, everyone on YouTube was talking about the gambling issue that was a huge problem on Twitch at the time. Six months ago, there were big gambling st streams uh, and they were saying that this was promoting addiction, right? And they were actually saying that many of these gambling games were designed to get children involved into gambling and get them addicted to gambling as well. And there was this big push six months ago to get gambling streams kicked off of Twitch. And Twitch actually, you know, they did the right thing and they banned most gambling on their website. And many of the big content on creators on YouTube, Copyzilla, Some Ordinary Gamers, uh, Moist Critical, made videos saying, you know, this is a good thing we're getting gambling kicked off of Twitch. And I agree with that, that was a good thing. But now it seems like there is nobody, at least on YouTube, there's nobody talking about how an adult entertainment website is sponsoring some of the biggest Twitch streamers and biggest Twitch stream events. 
and allows children to access their adult content with no age verification whatsoever. You can go directly to their website and get previews to all of the adult content for free once you just sign in with your Twitch account on Fansly. And I think that's really inappropriate. I, I, I find it crazy that like no one is talking about that. Like I I don't understand. Like does this seem like something someone should that people should be talking about? I don't understand why this isn't a bigger issue. Now there is actually one creator who did talk about this. Her name is Moo Kitty. I'll have a link to her video. Uh, she actually was the one who talked about this first about a week ago. And what's really interesting is right after she called out these creators who were promoting Fansly, her entire channel got demonetized within days of making that video. Now, herself and many people who support her uh, think that this is some sort of retaliation for making this video, calling these people out, that now her entire channel is demonetized. I don't know if that's true. In the email that she shows, it shows that her, her channel was demonetized for reusing content, and she does reuse a lot of content on her channel, but I do find it really interesting that she's been making the same content for over five months now, and it's only right after she releases basically this piece exposing what's going on that her entire channel gets demonetized. I find that to be incredibly interesting and, you know, a massive coincidence. Now, to give a little bit more detail, like I said, uh, the company that's being promoted all over Twitch is Fansly. They were a big promoter of the event, uh, the Streamer Awards. Now, in the Streamer Awards, what's really interesting, QT Cinderella, who created the event, she was actually making jokes about how another company, Kick, which is a, a rival to Twitch, uh, wanted to sponsor the Streamer Awards, and she made a joke about not allowing them to sponsor the event because she wasn't going to be showing porn in the event, but then just a few minutes later, she does an ad read for uh, for Fansly, which does actually have adult content that they are promoting. Speaking of platform changes, this year, Kick.com was announced. You know, they actually wanted to sponsor this event, but then they backed out and I told them I wasn't showing any porn. A few moments later. That video was amazing. I want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor, Fansly, for sponsoring the Streamer Awards. Make sure you follow the Fansly account for exclusive behind-the-scenes content and get a free trial of their top creators only at fansly.com slash the Streamer Awards. Now, it's not just the Streamer Awards that Fansly has been sponsoring. They've been sponsoring many events uh, that I'm sure have a bunch of children watching as well. They sponsored uh, Ludwig's boxing a match a few months ago, and then they also sponsored XQC's uh, Juicer game show uh, that he launched a while back as well. What? Hello, I, I made it, boys. What's up? Hello, welcome to Juiced, uh, presented by Fansly. Um, yeah, I made it. I mean, what can I say? It was a little bit disorganized. To the Mogul Jets Boxing Championship, presented by Fansly. So Fansly has been a heavy promoter uh, on both Twitch and YouTube over the past like year, year and a half or so. Uh, and it's crazy just that they, it's okay that you can, you know, promote this content. And it's one thing like if this was specifically targeted to an all adult audience, uh, but it, it's very clear that a large or at least a decent portion of these audiences that are watching are children. And I think the main issue is that they don't have any sort of age verification. What I showed you with the Twitch feature, uh, you can log directly in with an underage account and get access to adult entertainment. That seems inappropriate. Now, one thing I want to point out is if you want to say like, oh, you know, this isn't a big deal. No one needs to talk about this. There are creators like uh, Hasanabi and um, Moist Critical who actually made big portions of videos talking about another creator by the name of Aiden Ross. And I'm, I'm not a fan of Aiden Ross, but Aiden Ross actually showed porn on his stream on another account, it wasn't Twitch, it was, uh, he, he streams on Kick, and he actually showed porn to his audience and there were children watching that stream. Now, both Moist Critical and Hasanabi uh, made videos calling the guy out, saying that this was incredibly inappropriate thing to do, and potentially he could actually go to jail for this. While streaming, Aiden Ross decided to go to Pornhub, I guess to make a point about how you can do anything on the site, and he just <laughs> he showed porn. To his audience, and keep in mind, a lot of his audience is very young. They're minors. They're actual children. But everyone knows Aiden Ross viewers are skewed very, very young. So it's still a very fucking creepy and weird thing to do, especially with that audience and on stream. He posted porn on- he looked at porn, porn? on purpose? Bro. I don't support it. Bro. What do y'all want to watch on Pornhub, bro? What? 
Now, both of those creators, as well as pretty much every other large creator, uh, hasn't really had any reaction or said anything about Fansly, you know, sponsoring all of these events. They're they're quick to, you know, call out the guy they don't like, Aiden Ross. But when, you know, their friends Ludwig and QT Cinderella uh, get sponsored by Fansly, they don't say anything. And I understand, like, actually showing porn like what Aiden Ross did is much worse than just being sponsored by an adult website that allows kids to access the content. I understand that that's different. But at the very least, people should be talking about this, and no one seems to be doing it. Now, Moist Critical actually was watching the uh, Streamer Awards, and when the ad for Fansly actually came up during the Streamer Awards, you can see he actually lets out a little laugh, and it seems like he's at least somewhat uncomfortable that this type of content was being promoted during the Streamer Awards. For exclusive behind-the-scenes content and a free trial of some of our hottest creators. On top of that, sign in using your Twitch account and see which of your favorite streamers are already creating adult content on Fansly. Fansly has a whole algorithm dedicated to discovering rage. new content and creators through the Fansly For You feature. Swipe and discover today at Fansly.com. Now, I don't want to put any words in his mouth. I don't know if he actually thought that was inappropriate. But aside from that clip of him, you know, viewing that, he hasn't said anything uh, about this whole situation at all. In fact, the only streamer that has made any acknowledgement so far is Asmongold. Asmongold is a, a big streamer, and he actually watched uh, M he actually watched Moo Kitty's video uh, covering this whole subject, and he actually said he thought it was inappropriate that it was sponsored as well. After a Mario Kart ad for kids, not a single word is spoken. I think that she's right about this. I think that both of them are advertising pornography and explicit content for kids. I think that she is right. I think that there is a spectrum and showing the porn directly is worse. But you cannot tell me that advertising Fansly and then giving examples of streamers that produce explicit content on Fansly. I know that they produce explicit content on Fansly. They are the ones that, that are up on the screen. <laughs> How are you how are you not going to say that's not promoting it? How how does Twitch allow Fansly ads? I don't know. I I find this to be a question. I don't think Fansly's a big deal. I don't give a fuck about it. But the truth is that how are you going to disallow certain streamers to promote their Fansly, but other different people that are being sponsored by Fansly the company, that's okay. How does this make any sense? Now like I said at the beginning of the video, obviously this is a controversial topic. Like I said, there's some people who don't think this is a big deal. I do, but I do find it interesting that there was such a hoopla, there was such a big deal about all the gambling issues on Twitch just six months ago, but no one wants to seem to talk about what's going on right now with an adult website that can you know, freely put their content, they can, they can freely advertise on Twitch. Now, Twitch actually has guidelines from what I can see that deny you to access, that deny you to link directly to adult websites. Uh, I'll give you an example, Amarath, she's one of the biggest uh, streamers on Twitch, and she used to link her OnlyFans directly on Twitch, but Twitch doesn't allow that anymore. So she does a cheeky way of where she will actually link to a link tree, and then if you click on the link tree, then you can click a link to her OnlyFans. So that's kind of a cheeky way that some people are kind of getting away, getting around the issue of not linking directly to adult websites, yet on the actual streamer awards, there is a link directly to Fansly from the streamer awards page. So I don't know if that's technically breaking any uh, Twitch rules, but that is available for people to do. And I, I don't know if that's necessarily uh, appropriate. Now, I do wanna mention that I actually reached out to XQC, uh, QT Cinderella and Ludwig, the people that I talked about, I reached out to all of them because I wanted to give I wanted to give them the option of telling their story and you know giving a comment about what they think about you know them being sponsored by an adult company uh, that's promoting content to their audience that probably has a bunch of children watching. I reached out to all of them on Twitter. None of them responded. All three of them haven't responded at the time of filming this video. But one thing that did happen was XQC actually talked about in a stream, he was he briefly talked about how his event, the Juicer game show that he ran, uh, he said that he did not know that Fansly was going to be sponsoring the event. He said that Ludwig added Fansly as a sponsor at the last minute. In my defense, in my defense, um, I, listen, 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 I'm not gonna shit on Lud in my own show. I, I had generally nothing, zero knowledge of, um, 
Fansly being a sponsor. Know that I sign anything with Fansly. Know that I ever see a singular dollar from Fansly. None of it, zero, I, I ever uh, had knowledge of it prior or signed for. Yep, sorry, that's just, I'm not, I'm gonna fuck it. I give, I, if I am lying, I give a verbal consent on the internet right now, on this date, on the 327-23, to out me, to out me as a liar and to show a signature of mine and show a contract of mine or show any knowledge whatsoever prior to, to, the, to the sponsor. Uh, before I you know, I get before I got there and we actually did it, I give consent. Okay. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, there's going to be people with difference of opinions on whether this is acceptable or not. Again, this wasn't designed to be a witch hunt of a video. I, I've been thinking about this video for quite some time, and basically I just made the video so I wouldn't think about it anymore. Just you know, put the video out there. Uh, people can you know create their own opinions on whether they think this is okay or not. And again, the poll is below if you want to uh, voice your opinion on that. But after what happened with Moo Mu Kitty, and again, I'll have a link to her video, after her channel got demonetized right after she talked about this, and no one else was talking about this, I felt, you know, someone needs to have a conversation about what is actually happening. Now, like I said, if you if you think it's appropriate, that's completely fine. I'm not trying to say your opinion is wrong. I'd love to hear your opinion below. But just my personal opinion, if if there was so much effort to get gambling off of Twitch, like why is there no effort to get adult content, to get an actual company that's promoting this stuff to their their fans that you know children can access without age verification why is there no no one talking about why this is not okay like i i honestly don't know i i would really love to know uh, in the comments why the twitch why the the gambling issue was such a big deal and this is not so there there you go that's my opinion i'd love to know uh what you guys think in the comments below is this okay or is this something that needs to stop